Time for another review from Lights and Gear. Today we have a pretty big flashlight to tell you about, and it also comes in a pretty big box. And uh, this is the drawing of the light on the outside of it. Can't even fit the whole thing in the camera lens, so we're just going to kind of uh, do what we can here and do kind of like a, um, uh, a little span of the box, if you will. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the Astrolux uh, MF002. MF02 from Astrolux. It has uh, an XHP 35 high D4 LED. So it puts out a very tight long range beam. And as I say, this box is so big I can't get it in the camera lens. But anyway, um, here's the manual inside. And there you go, MF02 from Astrolux with the XHP35 LED. It has up to 3,000 lumens of output and a pretty good uh, beam intensity as you can see. Beam distance 1587 meters and uh, also has a breathing light here which also locks out if you need it to and that sort of indicates uh, battery voltage as well. Aerograde space, aer aerospace grade aluminum it's waterproof to IPX7. It comes with a little tripod mount, and um, it's pretty intense indeed. And here are your accessories within the package. So, um, mode-wise, 3,000 is the top output. You have um, moonlight at 15, medium at uh, 350, high 1,700, and there's your turbo there at 3000. Uh, they do say 1800 underneath. It does have an internal uh, temperature monitoring system. So basically when the light gets to over 55 degrees Celsius internally, it will lower the output. So um, I think that may um, be the explanation for the 1800 there. They have no further uh, details as to how long it will take to do that or whatever just that the internal temperature monitors uh, the, the light so that's what happens there for the most part and there are your modes and your diagram there's also three emergency modes tactical strobe SOS and location beacon and we'll get to the operation of it here in a second also in the box is a back strap which is something you don't often see with most flashlights because most flashlights aren't as hefty as this. So, can't show you all this in the frame either, but this uh, attaches across your back as one way to hold it or one way to carry it. Here's a little bag of accessories and we have a couple of very big O-rings in here. We also have a lanyard and we also have a, um, a tripod mount thingy right there so whatever you want to call that um, what do they call it they call it a tripod mount screw so that makes sense all right so and uh, this is a pretty decent lanyard it's actually a nice color it's kind of a forest green if you can if you can see that so anyway those are your accessories and now to our guest of honor the actual flashlight itself so here we go. It is a big boy. And this is the Astrolux MF02. It's uh it's pretty lengthy. It's almost uh it's about a little over seven inches long. Sorry if I can't get the uh the framing right here. It's um about seven and a quarter inches long. And it has uh, variable widths due to the head being much wider than the base. The head is a little over three inches wide. So it has um, a very, very good depth to it. A very wide girth, if you will. And um, this is the smooth reflector, as you can see. 
and the LED is set way down in there. And this is the high intensity XHP35 LED, which puts out an extremely tight beam pattern at extremely long distances. This is perhaps one of the longest distance lights that I have seen to date. I have reviewed a couple of very good throw flashlights before and I haven't actually put this side by side to the others but um, this really um, this really tops it out as far as the uh, distance it can go. Now obviously the base is flat so it stands very very well. The batteries use what has become quite familiar with uh, large size flashlights. It has one of these cages and it doesn't matter which way it goes into the light and the batteries fit that way. They are four 18650. Now I have perhaps not the type of battery in here that they will recommend in the manual and from the folks here at Astrolux they recommend the Samsung 30Q batteries which are the pink ones with the flat top and uh, that's one thing to take into account is that the batteries have to be of a specific length in order to fit these are good batteries from Keep Power but they almost don't fit so it's rather a, it's a little bit of a tight fit I had a couple of others which I was trying in it even, um, I think they were uh, LG, I believe they were LG batteries, um, which were um, IMRs, and they wouldn't fit. They were too long. So it is a little bit particular as to the size of battery that it'll take, that it will take in this, um, in this cage here. But four of them, and uh, they all pretty much go, they don't all go the same way, but two of them in a row go the same way. So there's like two positive side by side and two negative side by side. But ideally, you should use um, an IMR or an INR in the light. And a good example of the type of battery that does work very well, aside from the, uh, the 30 Qs or something like this. But anyway, that's the type of battery which you would want to use ideally in the MF-02. Up inside the head is a spring in there, so it makes pretty good contact with the, uh, with the cage unit. Now as soon as everything is tightened up and ready to go, you'll get a green light right here, and it is a breathing light on the switch. It constantly illuminates whether the light is on or off. And uh, the way to silence it is to press and hold the button. And then it turns out, and that basically locks out the light for as long as you don't want to use it, or whichever. Now, as soon as you um, would like to use the light again, just press the button and hold it for a second. The breathing light will come back and you're ready to go. And to turn it on is just uh, as simple as pressing the button. And there's your beam, which looks like um, a little piece of the sun. This is moonlight, and it does have memory. So, of course, wherever you turn it off, it will come back on in that mode. If you want instant uh, turbo mode, you can double click. And there's instant turbo. A little bit of a shock to everybody's uh, retina there. And uh, this puts out, obviously inside, you're not going to get the proper um, visual of what this beam can do. And you're not going to see the side spill all that well in here. But um, if I just press it again, I'll get back down to moonlight and there's medium, and there's high, and there's turbo. So those are the modes. And if you want flashing modes, you have to go three times. One, two, three, and here's strobe, and here's SOS, and here's location beacon. Just like that. 
So those are your modes. If I press from that, it just turns off. And then press again, and it'll come back in the last memory mode that we were in. Um, so those are the modes. Very simple to operate. Um, very, very easy to remember as far as um, what you have to do to get to the mode you want to be in. And uh, I can flash it around in here. And you can see how tight that beam is. That just gets out there like nobody's business. So uh, there's moonlight, low, medium, high. And I urge you to go to my website and look at the outdoor beam shots to see what this can do. Uh, don't yell at me for not taking it outside and not showing outdoor pics because that what, that's what my website Lights and Gear is for is to show outdoor pics of the flashlights I review. Uh, taking the camera outside and trying to do videos is uh, problematic. The camera does not properly often show the beam at distance in the dark. It's, it's really hard to navigate it. And uh, again, this is uh, quite an incredible beam. It just does not do it justice to show it inside. But uh, anyway, that's the way it is. And one press and you get back down to the moonlight mode. But uh, it is one heck of a flashlight. Now, obviously, you're, you may not use this kind of a light for everyday use. And, and um, it's not something that you generally carry for most situations. It's going to be for more of a specialized use. And um, really, when it comes down to it, it's really more of a handheld searchlight than anything else. It is an LED flashlight, but it certainly has qualities that a searchlight would have and um, does, ca does uh, cover uh, an, uh, an incredible range of distance. And uh, it doesn't really get, I mean, it does start to get hot if you leave it on, certainly in one of the higher modes for, for maybe for about 10 minutes or so. It is going to get warm, warm to hot by touching the entire body. But um, it takes quite a bit, I think, for the internal temperature to actually get up there so that it lowers from the turbo, from turbo down to high. It does take quite a bit for it to do that. Now to turn it off at any one time, you have to press and hold. If I just press the button, obviously it'll just keep cycling through the modes. So press and hold to turn it off. But uh, that's the light in a nutshell. Here's the uh, marking on the bottom of the tail cap. And um, this was um, furnished by my friends at Banggood to take a look at. And you can click the link down below which I placed in the description, and it'll take you to their uh, product page on Banggood to, uh, to see the light in a different kind of light and to see uh, the purchase price and so forth. So you can check that out at banggood.com, and that link is also in my written review should you happen to go over there as well, um, as I have suggested. So that's the Astrolux MF02. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope you think the light is something that somebody in your life might be interested in. Oh, I did also forget to mention, sorry, about the um, voltage detection within the breathing light. And here it explains that in the manual, in that when it's good, it's green. And then when the battery starts to waver, when the batteries start to lose voltage, it'll turn red. And then it'll do a flashing red. And then there won't be any light at all. It'll just be completely off, I guess, when the batteries die, which does make perfect sense. But uh, before that, it will go red and start flashing. So anyway, that's how you tell about your batteries within the, uh, within the breathing light. Anyway, that's our review for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. And of course, you can check out lightsandgear.com for the outdoor pictures of the MF-02 and more flashlights, batteries, and chargers, of course. But in the meantime, we'll see you around. Have a good one, and thanks for watching.